Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle look set to spend this Valentine's in their Californian home. With it being the first Valentine's Day in lockdown, many couples in the UK will be substituting fancy restaurant date nights for comfort food, homemade cocktails, and a few episodes of their favorite TV box it. It's likely the scenes will look very similar for those couples who live across the pond, including the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who will be spending their first Valentine's Day in their new Californian home. So, how do Prince Harry and Meghan Markle spend Valentine's Day? Obviously, it's tricky to know exactly what they'll be doing on Valentine's Day, but it's a fairly safe bet to assume Harry and Meghan will be spending it in their Montecito home, where they moved after stepping back from royal duties early last year. On leaving the UK, the couple initially moved to Vancouver, before heading to Los Angeles, where they reportedly chose to settle in the Santa Barbara hillside enclave, as they can integrate into the community while having some distance and privacy that is hard to come by in the Los Angeles area. In previous years, the couple have spent some Valentine's Day celebrations together, while other have been spent apart, mainly due to royal duties. In 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan spent the day leading up to the romantic occasion traveling to Edinburgh, where they had a week full of royal events to attend. In 2019, Harry traveled to northern Norway to meet British Army servicemen and servicewomen undergoing an annual winter exercise. A then-pregnant Meghan spent her Valentine's Day in England at Kensington Palace. Meghan is a self-confessed lover of the romantic holiday, so whatever the couple decides to do, she'll more than likely have dozens of ways to make it special in lockdown. Meghan wrote on her blog The Tig in 2015. Without fail, every February 14th, I wake up feeling like I'm immersed in a Robert Doisno photo, waiting with bated breath to be dipped into a kiss. This is all happening in black and white, of course. And in Paris, if I had my way. Another analysis. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly quitting social media for good. It is hard to believe that a year has passed since Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry announced that they had made the decision to step down as senior working royals. It has been quite a wild ride for the two of them ever since they got married, and broke tradition by leaving London and heading to Windsor, England in search of a more private life. However, after a few months, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex shocked the world when they decided that they were going to leave the United Kingdom altogether. They headed to Canada, before finally settling down in their current home in Montecito, California. Meghan and Prince Harry have been involved in extensive charity and humanitarian work ever since they split from the royal family, and they recently launched their first podcast as well. However, the couple has been taking quite a bit of backlash in the news media, and it seems that they just want a quiet life for themselves and their young son, Archie Harrison. Now, it has been announced that Meghan and Prince Harry are reportedly quitting social media, for good. Who are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? In the recent past, Prince Harry and Meghan have been keeping a low profile. Meghan is a former American actress who rose to fame on the hit legal drama Suits, and as most people know, Prince Harry is the son of Prince Charles, who is first in line to the British throne. The couple married in 2018, and instantly became two of the most sought-after people in the entire world. They were more than willing to express their unhappiness with the massive amounts of attention that they were receiving. It wasn't all that surprising when, on more than one occasion, Prince Harry released a statement asking the news media to back off. Meghan took quite a bit of backlash after her wedding to Prince Harry, with people around the world criticizing her mothering skills, her situation with her estranged family members, and even her relationship with her husband. They had a social media presence at the beginning. It is not as if Meghan and Prince Harry have never been on social media at all. At the beginning of their marriage, the couple had their own Instagram account. They used to make occasional posts to social media but considering the amount of negativity that the two of them had been receiving, it wasn't long before the posts slowed down. Their Instagram account hasn't been updated since March. They were expected to continue the use of social media after stepping down from royal duties, however, things didn't exactly turn out that way. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are reportedly quitting social media for good. In a world where pretty much everyone documents their lives on social media, 
The announcement has actually been made that Meghan and Prince Harry are planning to do the opposite. We have learned that fans shouldn't be waiting for them to make their return to any platforms, because it isn't likely to ever happen. So why have they chosen to back down from social media? Well, there is actually a very good reason. Meghan has been dealing with online bullying for months, and an insider says. The online bullying directed toward Meghan since she became engaged to the Duke continued to escalate during her pregnancy, and it all just became too much. It's understandable she wants to cut all ties. It also may have to do with Meghan and Harry's business ventures, as a way to draw people directly to their sources, such as their new podcast. Either way, it is perfectly understandable that the Duke and Duchess have chosen to quit social media for good. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. Why Prince Harry did not marry the most suitable person he dated. As many people know, Prince Harry is currently married to Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. However, before he and Meghan tied the knot, Harry had other high-profile relationships. Most notably, he dated someone who was deemed to be the most suitable person for him. Yet, why did Harry not marry this person, who was considered the most suitable person Prince Harry dated? From 2012 to 2014, Harry dated Cressida Bonas, who was called the most suitable woman for Harry, by royal biographer Chris Hutchins. Bonas got this label because of her aristocratic background. Hutchins said in a documentary, Cressida's love for Harry came not from the fact he was the Queen's grandson. She wasn't interested in that she comes from a very grand ancestry herself. Bona's mother is Lady Mary Gay Curzon, the daughter of an English Earl. The Curzon family has been a part of British aristocracy for centuries. Meanwhile, Bona's father is Geoffrey Bonas, whose family owns textile mills. Geoffrey is also the chairman of Haberdashery McCulloch and Wallace. Bona's half-sister, actor Isabella and Struther Goff Calthorpe, was once linked to Prince William. Harry and Cressida met through Harry's cousin, Princess Eugenie. The couple dated for two years before breaking up. Why did Prince Harry not marry Cressida Bonas? According to Hutchins, Harry would have married her for sure by now. However, things broke down for the couple because Bonas did not enjoy the constant media attention that followed her relationship with Harry. Royal author Robert Lacey wrote in his book Battle of Brothers that Bonas had a revelation when she saw Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, take their eight-month-old son on a royal tour. Lacey said, In 2014, she was said to have been completely spooked after watching the TV coverage of William and Kate touring New Zealand with baby George in tow. That was not the way she would want to enjoy her eight-month-old son, she regretfully explained to Harry. The couple broke up soon after, though Bonas was invited to Harry's wedding when he Wednesday Meghan, in 2018. Bonas tied the knot, in the summer of 2020 with property investor Harry Wentworth Stanley, whom she briefly dated in college. Meghan Markle seems to thrive in the spotlight. Fortunately for Harry, he did manage to find a wife who did not shy away from press attention. Meghan was an actor before meeting Harry and was used to being in front of the camera. Lacey also claimed that Meghan helped Harry in realizing his role as a royal spare. Lacey said, I mean, clearly the royal plan and expectation was that Harry would marry a nice, just as he had been very loyally during the early years of the marriage of William and Kate. Meghan offered a more challenging and inspiring and creative destiny than being his brother's perpetual backup. In early 2020, Harry and Meghan stepped down from their roles as senior royals. The couple moved to California to pursue a more private life and began their transition towards financial independence from the royal family. They signed a Netflix deal to produce content for the streaming content, as well as a podcast deal with Spotify. Harry and Meghan have also been working on establishing their own charitable organization. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.